In this Tech 5, we're going to take a look at how you can get started with ASP.NET Core on Mac or Windows. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to .NET to install the .NET Core runtime. So when you go there, this will take you off to the actual Microsoft.com alias. And I've hit download, I can go to .NET Core, and now I can find my target operating system. I can run on Linux, Windows, or Mac. Now I've already run the install process on this machine. So I'm gonna run off to a command prompt here, and then I'm gonna CD real quick into a folder I have on my desktop called Core Demos. Now currently that folder is empty, but we're gonna add a project here. So I'm gonna say .NET dash dash version first off, and that's gonna give the version that you have installed. Now from there, I can now create a new project. So I can say .NET new, and the .NET new, if that's all I do, will give me what options I can new up, if you will, for the project. So you'll see several project types here on the left, everything from a class library to console to MVC, Angular, React, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. And what you need to know is this short name right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick MVC from the list. So let me clear this and we'll say .NET new MVC. And then you don't even have to give it a name because the folder you're in will become the parent folder by default of the project. So this just scaffolded out all my code that I need and then also restored packages. Now we could run it from here because that'll build if it hasn't built, but let me show you the build real quick. So we'll say .NET build. And this is now gonna build all of the C-sharp code that we have that they generated in the project. So now we're gonna say .NET run, and by default, this will pull up on localhost and a port, which as of today is 5,000. So we'll let this fire up. There we go. This is now running a Kestrel server. So this is the server that runs on Mac, Linux, or Windows. We'll go to port 5,000, and this will take just a moment the first time, and then there we go. We now have an MVC site that we can now start developing. Very simple, very easy. So let's take a real fast look at what this gives us. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the server and I'm gonna open up VS Code. This will let you debug your ASP.NET Core on any operating system. Um, you can do it on Windows, on Mac, or on Linux. And you'll notice in the root here, I have a program CS. This is what registers my server that's gonna fire up when we did .NET run. Normally you can leave this alone. They give it some sensible defaults. But the one you'll typically end up adding some code to is called Startup CS. And this does a couple things. It registers your configuration. It handles dependency injection. That's gonna be configure services. And then it also has what's called middleware. And this is the configure. So these three things, configuration, dependency injection, and then your middleware. Now the middleware is super interesting because it's kind of like a train or a subway that hits stops. That's the request. Then we're gonna hit these middleware pieces of code. That's like a subway stop. Uh, and then it gets to the end and it turns around, of course, and goes the backwards to the other direction once it gets to the end of the line. Well, that's the response, but it's gonna hit those same middleware stops. So they've registered some exception handling type middleware. They've registered the ability to serve up static files, and they've added some MVC routes that load the initial home page and some sub pages as well. Now this is where you'll spend quite a bit of time initially to get your app up and running because you might have different routes, different middleware, different dependency injection, whatever it may be in your app, but it's very simple to get started with. So that's what it looks like on the Mac side. Now on the Windows side, if you wanna use the command line with VS Code or hey, you really wanna go all out and use Notepad, you could, but we could also use Visual Studio. So I have Visual Studio here. I can go to File New Project, or I can just click the Create Project here. Go to .NET Core, and you'll see an option. I'm gonna hit OK. And then it's gonna give me more options. Now I don't have the command line here, so now I get to pick. But I'm gonna pick the MVC, hit OK, and then we're gonna get the same exact type of project structure. We'll get the Program CS, the Startup CS, our controllers, our views, everything we need. Now, what I love about this is this exact same code, I can copy this over to my Mac if I wanted or my Linux machine, and I could use the .NET build and .NET run commands and run it the same exact way there. Really, really cool. 
So that's a quick look at getting started with ASP.NET Core on Mac and Windows, and thanks for tuning in to this Tech 5.